What's happening everybody? Welcome back to Sporgo and a good while back I did a video about the characters with the highest attack stats in the game So today I thought I'd do a video about the characters with the highest defensive stats in the game But before we go into that anymore I do want to remind all of you guys that today is the last day for the Leah's Dice game and remember, you know, whenever you finish this thing, whenever you go all the way to the end, every round that you make afterwards, you're going to gain 50 rubies. So if I go ahead and clip this a few times, I'm just going to kind of quickly run through this. See if we can get some extra rubies. Do it again. And we just got those 50 rubies right there. Every time you make a round, you're going to get 50 rubies. So if you have the AP available, today would be the last day that you can go ahead and try to get some rubies. If you already need to farm for some cores or you need to go ahead and farm for some gold cars, what have you. So just want to give you guys a quick reminder that this is the last day for this. And you might be able to acquire some last minute rubies before the BS banner arrives tomorrow. So defensive characters. Now this is actually very interesting to me because... This didn't turn out the way I thought it would. This did not turn out at all the way that I thought it would. Some of the characters that I thought that would be on this list aren't on this list. It's pretty wacky. I was actually quite surprised with the characters that were on this list. And we're going to do the top 10, starting with number 10, which is Elizabeth here. Elizabeth actually has 7,218 defense, which is pretty cool, right? Uh, and she does have an increase attack based off defense this is something to keep in mind with some of these characters that are really strong in the game like if they have high native defensive stats right and then they get an attack boost based off of defense it just really shows uh the kind of power that they actually have available elizabeth's actually a terrific character and pretty cool that a seven deadly sins character made it on this list i'm actually really happy to see that and she pretty strong character especially for the immortal victor i know that's not a big gauge for a lot of people but for newer players that's actually pretty damn amazing the next one would be actually deanne pretty cool huh so the 10th and 9th place belong to two seven deadly sins characters deanne has 7348 defenses so she actually has quite a bit more than elizabeth she's actually a, a very a lot tankier than elizabeth uh, in all reality uh, especially because of her core actually is what makes her tanky you know being able to get this immunity uh, and this decreased damage received is really what makes her so much tankier than Elizabeth. But she also has higher defensive stats, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the next one, now this one might surprise some of you guys, is an all-star character, which is Lady Brian. Lady Brian has 7,363 defenses. So she has just a little bit more defenses than Deanne. And the crazy thing about Lady Brian is, you know, she doesn't have a decreased damage received. She does have an increased attack base of defenses, which is actually pretty cool. But she has no decreased damage received. I mean, she can increase her defenses uh, by 12% for 7 seconds. That stacks with a 5, which is crazy. That's crazy defensive buffs on top of the fact that this character has very very high defenses i mean she's number eight in the game wow that is crazy and then we move on to number seven so then we have ash who has 7407 defense right and ash actually has a lot of heal he does have an attack based off defenses but he does have a lot of heals which actually gives him a lot of extra survivability actually he does have an increased attack uh, based off defenses, I'm sorry, from his core effect. It's just, it just isn't on his skills. But Ash is actually number seven in the game. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then we go to number six, which uh, we need to go to KOF 13 here, which is Unshackled Iori, who has 7,465 defenses, right? This guy is number six in the game. That's actually pretty wild. Uh, I don't, yeah, he does have an increased attack. Based off defenses, which is pretty interesting. And he does have dot explosion, at least in PvP. Uh, Iori is actually a terrific character. Really wonderful. Actually, this is really one of my favorite characters to play in PvP. I know he's not as good as he used to be, but he's still really good. And just a really fun character to play. And it's really nice to actually see Iori uh, make it on this list. You know, the fact that he's number six in the game for the highest defensive stats is actually pretty freaking amazing and then we need to go to the all-stars 
and take a look at Kim. Kim here has 7,525 defense. That's right, Little Miss Minnie here has the fifth highest defenses in the game. Wow. And Kim's a pretty cool character. She just has a solid increased attack, which is pretty interesting. It's not based off of her defenses at all. Which doesn't happen a whole lot with these characters. I know that uh, Meliodas is the same way. He's got an increased attack, but it's not based off defenses. But that's really about it. I mean, she does have hyper armor. She's actually a terrific character. I mean, she's got a lot of short range skills. But if you know how to play this character, especially in PvP, she can be quite deadly unless uh, an opponent has immune to petrify. She is a very, very solid character. And then we move on to number four. Which is, and this one, this one might surprise some of you guys, maybe it will, maybe it won't, is The Undertaker. Undertaker. Wow, The Undertaker actually has some relevance somewhere. He is number four in the game with 7,656 defenses. Holy crap, he actually showed up somewhere, you know? Because this character pretty much got screwed since the very beginning. Yeah, there are players that can do well with him PvP, but it's only against other players that don't know how to deal with him. And, but he does have an increase of attack based off defenses, which is actually really good, especially considering he has the fourth highest defensive stats in the game. But really, you know, in my opinion, I always felt like Undertaker got screwed. I mean, he does have the decreased damage received, but man, they should have gave him a little bit more. And his kid, I'd probably go on a rant if I keep talking about this, uh, because he really is, in my opinion, one of the best wrestlers of all time. Uh, to some people, arguably the best wrestler of all time. That's always debatable, but... Man, I just felt like he always got kind of the shaft. But it's pretty cool to see that he has the fourth highest defensive stats in the game. And then we move on to number three, which is an all-star character. And that is... Whoops, I always do that. I was going to click on that thing. Pretty big. Little Miss over $200 when she first showed up in the game. Has 7,669 defenses. And she does have an increased attack based off of defenses. Pretty big has fallen behind in the meta uh, for some time now. Because a lot of characters have that immune to stun. And this is really what made her so powerful. This core effect where she could stun you after being attacked. And, you know, a lot of these characters have immunity to stun. I mean, she just isn't as good because all you really got to do against her is guard. Because she doesn't have ignored guard. Unless you have a Ryugo on her and then she can actually maybe break your guard. But pretty wild that she has the third highest defenses in the game wow and then we move on to number two which is i need to find 2000 here which is hanako that's right one of the new recruits in the game has 7686 defenses hanako is the second has the second highest Defensive stats in the game. Wow. 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 And she doesn't have an attack based off of defense. At least she doesn't in her skills that I can see. And she doesn't in her core. That's probably a good thing. She's probably too overpowered if she did have attack based off defenses. Uh, especially considering she has the second highest defensive stats in the game. So pretty cool that they just introduced a character that gives you the second highest. Now, who is number one? What defensive character is number one? Is it, is it Athena? Let's take a look. Athena has 6,976 defenses. What? The SS, the only SS defensive character has lower defenses than even the rank number 10 character who has 7,200 plus defenses. SS Athena isn't even in the top 10. Can you believe that? I was absolutely shocked that this girl was not on this list. Wow. Oh, yeah, she got the increased attack also, but it's not based off defenses. Wow, interesting. That is crazy. Oh, yeah, she does. I'm sorry. On her first skill, she got increased attack by 46% of defenses. But she's also got an increased attack on another skill. Wow, interesting. Interesting. But it just goes to show you, just because the character is maybe a defensive character and maybe they don't have the highest defensive stats, if they got the right attack buffs on their skills, they're still going to appear to be stronger. And there's gonna and there's actually a whole lot of other reasons, like her 3PG can't get interrupted, and then she has Starlight and all this other good stuff. But wow, I was really shocked, though, that she wasn't on this list. I really thought that she would have 
higher defensive stats than what she does, but I guess maybe to balance her, you know, giving her the attack buff and then giving the attack based off defenses, maybe if she had higher defense stats, that'd have been way too much. So who is number one? Who is number one? Well, it's Nameless. Yeah, Nameless is number one. He has 7,773 defensive stats. He has the highest defensive stats in the game. And to boo for old Nameless, he actually does have a crazy increased attack by 45% of defenses to the highest defensive stat in the game. So this is one of the reasons why Nameless always feels like kind of like an attack character because his damage is absolutely insane. And this is why. Because he has the highest defensive stats in the game and he's got a crazy increased attack of 45% based off defenses. That is crazy. Then you throw a Chaos set on him or the Athena set and he's just going to be insane. Not to mention he has a 7 second uh, super that really stalls the timer in the Immortal Dungeons. So some of you are probably going to be pretty happy about this. I know there's a lot of Nameless fans out there. I love Nameless too. He's got some of the best music in the game. That's something I really love about the character on top of just you know him being Nameless. So pretty interesting that he was number one. And I, and I, was, I know a lot of you are just thinking, man, I thought... Maybe like some other characters would have been on this list. Uh, maybe like uh, Leona 12. Uh, unfortunately not, guys. Leona only had 5,700 uh, defensive stats. Maybe K. K had 5,200 defensive stats. I mean, really a lot of the characters that I thought would be on this list just weren't. Which surprised the hell out of me. So, as you all can see, this is my free-to-play account. We will be doing some pulls for the BS banner tomorrow because I have a lot of rubies. On this account, I'm actually doing a lot better on my free-to-play account than I am on my whale account, which is interesting. So, I do wish all of you luck tomorrow on the BS banners. Uh, we will be talking about it. I thought originally that we were going to get the uh, chapter of fight uh, today, but we're actually going to be getting that tomorrow. So, that's my bad from the last video. I do apologize for that. But let me know how you're all feeling about the characters with the highest defensive stats. Did it turn out the way that you thought it would turn out? And let me know if you're excited about the BS banner tomorrow and the new game modes. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.